Okay, so it looks like we are going to get a boost in SSD capacity probably in 2025. Looking at uh, when the news announcements of these new flash uh, chips started hitting the, hitting the news rounds and when products started being announced, and I, I think it'll probably be 2025. So <clears throat> for me, this is really important, and that's why I've done, this will be my second or maybe even third, I think third or fourth actual video on, um, on uh, SSD sizes and new pricing on available drives and stuff like that. So uh, capacity is very important to me, especially now because for most of my applications, we've reached a point where pretty much all of my computers are powerful enough to do what I need. It's a question of can I store enough on them to not have to use external storage or whatever. You know, can I can I take my whole games library? I have this laptop. It's like, I was like, I'm trying to look how thick it is. It's like this thick, the dang thing. It's not the most powerful laptop and it's like this thick. And it's got, it's powerful enough to play all of my games. It's like that thick. It's like, it's like that wide. It's this tiny little 16 inch ultra thin laptop. And, uh, but the limit I have is, can I take my whole Steam library with me? And so the new SSDs are going to make it so that, that that's a potential possibility. So let's, uh, let's switch over here to our, to our news announcement. So what we're looking at here is <clears throat> a Tom's hardware reporting of the Keoxia announcement uh, both, both Keoxia. So Keoxia, for those who don't know, Keoxia actually makes the chips. So kind of like, uh, like Micron or Samsung or, you know, this, I don't know. This, I don't know how many actually make these things. There aren't a ton of companies that make them. I bet there's like four or five companies in the world or something that actually manufacture, um, uh, NAND chips. Um, but so, uh, um, Western Digital is claiming that they're going to be able to do... Where did it go? I saw that they claimed... Um, they claimed that they were going to be able to do 128 gig uh, SSDs. But the big the big takeaway from most of this... So, oh, here we go. So the, the big thing is 4 terabytes is going to soon be possible on the smallest form factor of M.2, so that's the short ones, like the half-length ones, and then 16 terabytes will be it will be possible on the 2280s, which for those of you who don't know what a 2280 is, 2280 is the form factor of your standard M.2 SSD. So all the ones that you normally buy that, that you just slot into your motherboard or your laptop or whatever, typically 2280 is the standard size. So now to me, so the thing with these 16 terabyte drives, these are going to be expensive when they come out. If I had to guess, I'd say $1,500 would be my guess. Because when the eight terabytes first hit the market, I think they were 13, 15, something like that. Um, initially, I think the uh, the Sabrent Rocket was the only one available. And they those are still like $1,300. They, for whatever reason, they haven't dropped their price. But my guess is the biggest gain that most of us will have is that so what tends to happen is when a new uh, a new drive size comes out it'll be extremely expensive and then after a couple of months it'll drop in price a little bit it'll kind of settle at that price but it's going to drive down the cost of the eights so remember several years ago fours cost what we pay today for eights so I'm hoping that what we're going to see is eights driven down to maybe sub 400 prices I'm hoping um cuz if I if if I saw an 8 at like 3 350 I would buy an 8 terabyte all day long at 350 I'd probably buy two of them for my gaming laptop and just call it a day um but based on so this was July I think yeah July this year so based on this and based on Western Digital's announcement, uh, let me switch us back. I'm just going to be me again here. So based on Western Digital's announcement, because Western Digital is announcing actual products, and I don't think they'd be announcing products if if the like prototypes didn't even exist. Um, and then Keoxia is, is announcing the underlying technology. So 
yeah, I'm going to bet in the coming year, you're going to see the first 16 terabyte M.2s. Certainly, you're going to see consumer. You can already get ultra large capacity SSDs, but they're, they're like business grade stuff. I'm guessing you're going to see the first consumer grade 2.5 um, uh, form factor uh, SATA um, uh, SSDs as well. And then again, the biggest, the biggest thing I think you're going to see is a dropping in the price of four potentially, but definitely eight. So anyway, I thought you guys would find that interesting, and uh, not a lot is usually said. Usually, usually most of us in the like the gaming world focus our our attention on um, uh, the products, but there's not usually a lot said about the underlying technology. So I thought I'd share this with you guys that the underlying technology is now there to make these massive drives, and that's going to be good for all of us. So anyway, thanks for watching.